Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Kirby Superstar 8 Games in 1. I don't know why I start my videos here, I should probably start my videos here. Anyway, last episode we took down Dinoblade. So this episode we're going to do the dreaded Great Cave Offensive. And Well, again, if you're just going to run right through it, it's not really, like, it doesn't take that long, but I'm going to 100% this thing and I don't know how long it's going to take. So this is your first time playing the Great Cave Offensive? It doesn't matter, you can just press start to skip the tutorial. And yes, the reason you didn't see the tutorial at all is because I pressed start. And I probably should show the story for these. I mean, there is a story behind every single one of these. Uh, I'll probably show them in like, I guess, next time I play or something. And anyway, right here is the gold medal, the very first treasure of the, of the game. This is actually the first one of the Kirby games that uses the X button for something. Uh, I'll show what it does right now. As soon as I get the the gold coin. I was going to say amulet coin for some reason. I don't know why I was thinking amulet coin. That's an item in Pokemon. Not an item in Kirby. Anyway, uh, let's see. You're kind of forced to use either fighter or beam for like the first part of the game because there really isn't much variety in like the in like the enemies that pop out. And now we got a whip. You mean cool whip. And yes, I said whip. You mean cool whip. Oh yeah, this is what the X button does, by the way. Uh, it shows you the treasures you have. God, I'm so quiet. Uh, well, I, I just ate breakfast, so it's probably a small excuse why I'm so quiet. Because for some odd reason, whenever I eat food, I get kind of sleepy or like tired. I don't know why. It's only when I eat food, though. I don't know why I'm like that. But oh well. Anyway, here's a crystal ball. And yes, uh, I pretty much already know what's inside all these treasure chests. So I, I can already tell you that the next one's gonna be the lucky cat. Wait. Yeah, the lucky cat. And then the Ichigo candy, then the screw, then the screwball, then shoot, what was it? Yeah, this one's a lucky cat. So, I, what's after the screwball? I forgot what it was. Uh, okay, okay, so I forgot what, what one of them was. But then the one after that one was the uh, rock tiara, I believe. Dude, I don't even know anymore. Anyway, this one's an Ichigo candy. No, this one's a screwball. That means the Ichigo candy is the one on top. And wow, I can't believe I'm already at the end of the episode because you do remember what I said a few episodes ago, right? As soon as I get to the safe point, that's the end of the episode. And look, a safe point. Nah, I'm kidding. See, I believe this one's a typo. It should actually say the Ichigo candy, not the Echigo candy. So it's probably like a mistranslation from Japan. Anyway, uh... This is the end of the episode, so I'll see you all next episode. Bye. Mm -hmm. Take care. Nope, Chuck Testa. See, uh, that's what I mean. I, I did say I was going to do a save point by save point, like every time I reach a save point at the end of the episode. But if I did that, the first episode would be incredibly short. And then after that, the set. And then there's also like a. Uh, there's the only one that has a save point that's not like a. I don't know how to say this, but like in the middle. Yeah, this is like the, the first section of this part is actually pretty linear, and you have to fight the boss to like get to the end of it. Actually, no, you have to fight the boss for three of them. One of them you can skip the boss. But anyway, uh, this part's pretty linear. This is the only one that's pretty linear. All the other ones ha like have their uh, save points and then three doors, and there's treasure inside each door, and one of those doors leads to the next part. Anyway, it's a zebra mask. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I don't know why I forgot. Ooh, hammer, I want that. But at the same time, I want plasma, so actually, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy. Oh man. Yeah, I'm not gonna get him, because I'm gonna get plasma. But sadly, then we have to, get, have to make a helper and get rid of him, and I always feel bad for that. It's like I create life just to get rid of life. Ooh, I might as well show off Mix while I'm here. Or not. But basically, if you swallow two enemies that will give you abilities, uh, you get like a random roulette that you can stop with the A button. 
and then you get an ability, like depending where you stop it. If you're, if you're really good at timing, you get the ability you want, and why can I do this? There you go, finally. Ah, chicken and soda. Anyway, we got the star stone. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking something about like stars and stones, or like the tiara and stone or something. Uh, there you go. Oh look, more soda, but I'm not sure if you saw it like, in the corner of the screen right there. So, more chicken and soda. Wow, what's up with all the chicken and soda in this game? Oh man, freaking mirror. I hate how it does that. Anyway, I'm probably gonna want to get cutter or sword or like something that can cut. And after this one's a bandana. See, I basically memorized all, all the treasures and where they are and stuff. And you know, considering plasma is like a bunch of uh, little needles and crap, I'm surprised they can't be used to cut ropes. So that means I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be forced to make a helper, and I'm gonna be forced to get cutter, which I found out is the most useless ability. I'm not sure if I already talked about it in an episode or in a failed recording. See, that's the thing. I've had a lot of failed recordings for some reason, and like, I honestly, I had no excuse. And down there's just chicken. Don't believe me? Chicken. Oh, thank you, Pulper. You actually did something. Gonna go ahead and cut the stroke. Get that. Oh wait, this is pretty dangerous. I might lose my ability. Or not, or... Wow! The Helper's actually doing stuff. And after this is springtime, where one of the four elemental treasures, which really has no point. You know, aside from being elemental treasures. Otherwise, they have no point. Uh, in the remake, they uh, they made all four elemental heart stones into like one, and they just called it the seasons heart. But right here, there's four of them: there's springtime, summertime, win autumn time, and winter time, of course, as you can imagine. But in the DS remake, they replaced the other treasures with those, and did he just make a clone of himself? Yeah, and they replaced the other three with like generic treasures, like uh, I think one of them was a power paint for us from a Kirby game. I forgot which one though. Anyway, I'm gonna take on this boss with plasma. Uh, normally I would use a mirror or sword, like either or. But since I have plasma, I might as well use it. Although what I really should have done is kept hammer and just hammer this boss. Cause after all, when I'm hammer, you can't touch me. Okay, no, that was terrible, I admit. Uh, yeah. That was a terrible joke. But, you know, I'm surprised no one has made a joke about Hammer Kirby and MC Hammer and not being able to touch it. I wonder why no one made that. Because this sounds perverted. I just realized. Anyway, this part, uh, for the most part, I usually just stay on the trolley. Although, you could just run it and attack it, but that would be a complete waste of time and I don't want to waste your time. Besides, they're pretty short anyway. And, uh... Okay, no, I, I refuse to make my episodes that short. I mean, yeah, they'll be a lot easier to edit. But, no. Because we're nearing the second safe point. I know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go two safe points, then cut the episode, then another two safe points. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, sandwich. Because past this door is the next save point. Uh oh, I didn't mean to press A. See, uh, I mentioned a couple of episodes ago that I'm also playing. The, that I also played the DS version, and that one has like control. The controls are A button jump and B button attack. This one's B button jump, Y button attack. Wait, did I just? Did I just create a helper after like destroying? Eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, these three doors, I believe the one in the middle, the one that no, 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 the one on the right takes you uh, to the next area. So you want to go everywhere except for that one. And I've actually never made it here with plasma, which is good because I can hit that switch with a charge attack. But we're not gonna go there yet. First, we're gonna go here and get the goblet. The goblet of fire. Uh, as with all Harry Potter, the book was better than the movie. The saucepan. Uh, the thing is, we don't know how long the sauce has been in that saucepan, or the saucepan even comes complete with sauce. Oh, well, I'm looking into it a little too much. And this is the brass knuckle. 
There should be a there should be like a power up on on knuckles. Knuckles should like carry the brass knuckles, which improves the attack power. I wonder if any Sonic game has that. I mean, I know there's like knuck knuckle power up for knuckles on like a Sonic game, but whatever. The Amy Rose, I mean the Amber Rose. See, I'm not even in a Sonic -y mood. I don't know why I'm like making all these Sonic references. Maybe because like these treasures remind me of, it, of them. Anyway, there's a fish fossil and the beast fossil. Fish fossil on the left, beast fossil on the right. Uh, these treasures are pretty memorable because they're like side by side, and this is actually the third area. Yeah, the area that takes you to like the next area. This is it, but there is this little room that you can only access from the first door. So, uh, moving on. I believe after this. Oh, don't get hit by the bomb. After here is a mid boss. And there's a treasure up there, which I forgot what it was. Two shark shots. Wow, this boss is pathetic. Anyway, there's the nunchucks. See, a lot of these treasures, they aren't just random treasures. There are treasures that actually mean something. Like, either from a, another Nintendo game or from a Nintendo product that's gonna come out about a decade in the future. Like, just look at this nunchuck. Doesn't look exactly like the nunchucks that come with the what the hell? I missed the treasure! I have to go all the way back to get it! <sighs> no, this can't be right, this can't be right, this can't be right. No, 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 I've never made this mistake before. No, 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 no. No, I refuse to believe I missed the treasure. No, I'm not, no, no, I'm just not gonna. No, I, no, I, I'm in denial. No, I'm not even in denial. I did not miss the treasure. Um, the treasure has been there the whole time. Yeah, that's what's going on. It's just invisible. Cause... Anyway, I'm calm now. I think I regained my mojo. Which again, personally not the best, but it's still a good movie. Whoa, did that guy just respawn before my eyes? Okay, careful. Anyway, the treasure I missed... There's a reason when I, when I came in here the first time, there's a reason I didn't step on that middle block, and you'll see why right now. Oh wow, double plan. And that is why, otherwise the treasure would have fallen into the lava. And whoa, I almost burped there. And we got the Senryu Sword. Senryu Sword. See, there's two things I know from my life that have the word Senryu in them. One of them was uh, this old Yu-Gi-Oh card I used to have called Senryu Dragon. Uh, you sacrifice two monsters, 2500 attack, nothing sp no, no effect, nothing special. But uh, another si oh no, 2600 attack, my bad. Or some I don't know, actually, I can't remember, I, I don't have that card anymore. It used to be a good card back in the day, you know, back when, uh, back when, uh, before the new cards came out and stuff. And sacrificing monsters actually ha had a purpose. Anyway, uh, and the other, the other thing in my life with the word Senryu in it is Senryu Taiko here in Riverside. Those guys are amazing. They, they just play really amazing taiko music. And in case you don't know what taiko is, it's uh, Japanese drumming. You can find an arcade game in like most arcades. Uh, it's called Taiko Drum Master. But yeah, that's pretty much what taiko is. The only difference is that they actually do it legitly, not not an arcade game, but they actually play the actual drums and stuff. And they're amazing. So that's the other thing I know with the word Senryu in it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get sword this time, cause why not? Let's see what I have. Oh man, you can't press X in the boss room, cause you press you press X in the boss room, it just pauses the game. What the Kirby? What are you doing? Whatever. Anyway, uh, we're gonna have to go back through this. I'm not sure how. I'm nah, I'm not gonna cut out any of it. I'm too lazy to cut it out. Well, not just that, but I found out the reason why Sony Vegas has been slow. And I actually found out why when I was doing the Yoshi's Island Apologetic video. Basically what happened is the file, si the file size is too large. Like, not, not the Yoshi's Island one, but this one. The file, si the file size is just way too large. So that's why it starts lagging and like it takes a while to reorient itself. Because it's just the video is way too big in size. And the Yoshi's Island one was not that big, I mean, we, we all know what the size of a Game Boy screen is, it's about that big. Anyway, any believes I'm gonna need? No. 
Oh yeah, you may have noticed that my attack has changed. Some abilities have a different attack while underwater. Uh, sword is one of those. And up here is the bucket. Oh my god, a bucket. Ew, disgusting. Yeah, I'm a homestuck, so these buckets, uh... Ugh. I mean, in public, I can like... Uh, uh, I can keep my cool in public, but like... Right now, I'm not in public, so I might as well show off my uh, homestuckiness. And I don't know why homestuck gets a lot of hate. I mean... I understand a lot of overly popular things get a lot of hate. By the way, to the right is just a maximum tomato. But I'm at almost full health anyway, so I don't need it. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't know why a lot of like stuff gets, or like overly popular stuff gets a lot of hate. I mean, I do understand some of the fan base could be jerks, but not everybody. Anyway, this is summertime, the second season's heart. And I completely lost my train of thought. I was like defending fan bases and stuff. Anyway, we're not all crazy. Not, not all of us. I mean, some of us are only crazy on the internet, but once you meet us in real life, you'll see that we're completely normal people. And here's the $100 coin, which always reminded me of Earthbound for some odd reason. Look at it, it looks like something straight out of Earthbound. Oh yeah, a theory of mine is that 1G apparently is a... Uh... Yeah, uh, no, 100G is 10 cents, because this is a $100 coin, so it's actually 10,000 cents, which translates to 10,000 G. And then this dime here is 10 G, which would translate to, you know, 10 cents. Man, I kind of don't. Nah, I'm gonna keep going. I uh, want, like, I honestly don't know how long I've been recording. See, the way I'm recording now, I have no timer. Or like, uh, okay, I have my watch as a timer, but nah, I'm not gonna use my watch for that. I can't be bothered. And th there is the treasure. This is the Captain Falcon's helmet. Yeah, other Nintendo, other uh, Nintendo series that make appearances here, like those little Easter eggs. And that's pretty cool. That's the only problem is that they don't have the obvious ones. Actually, no, they do, but they don't have the obvious ones you would expect. Like, for example, they do have some treasures from Super Mario. However, you would expect something like a mushroom or a fire flower. Nope, they just have a turtle shell. They don't even say Koopa shell, they just say turtle shell. Which I guess is cool, because like, you have to use your mind to like figure out that it's from Mario. And, the, and then the Falcon Helmet, they don't say Captain Falcon's Helmet, they just say Falcon Helmet. So you gotta like think about it. A dud. See, that always looked like a fish to me. But now that I think about it, it might actually be a missile. I'm not even sure. Uh, anyway, we go up here and, we want it, and we're careful with this guy. Make sure he doesn't steal our, our sword. No, I'm not gonna make that joke. We all know what joke I'm talking about. You know, the sword compensating for something. Speaking of swords, even even Kirby's sword ability itself is a reference. I mean, think about it. It's a sword with the blue hill, or the sword itself has a blue hill. Oh, crap. Now I can't show it anymore. And I think I might... No, I'm not gonna die. Thank you, Maximum Tomato. And there's a truth mirror. And as we all know, it's uh, the mirror from those fairy tales. There's no sword in here, there's no sword in here, there's no, nope, there's no sword in here, god damn it. Oh well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in there with on the ability and I'm gonna wait for something good. So I'm just gonna hold, hold L until something happens. This boss is pretty interesting, there's actually three bosses. Uh, ice Kirby, no. Yeah, I can't do anything, I'm not gonna do anything, I don't want ice. But basically, uh, with this boss, uh, abilities sometimes come out from the sides. Wow, Bart does one of the bosses. And there's sometimes abilities come out from the sides, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for like something good. <laughs> but nothing happened. Ninja, nope. Ninja's actually good against this boss, surprisingly enough. I found out during Hoppity Hero. In fact, Hoppity Hero actually helped me figure out what the best abilities and the worst abilities are. It's just slang trips. Three damage from something. I like how there's like an RPG style battle with like platformer Kirby things. Slang calls his like gang, but nothing happened. I think the slime is actually a reference to like one of the Final Fantasy enemies. Like the slime is rock. God damn it! Okay, maybe I should be more careful. Because if he takes if he takes hits, he goes down or he like he goes away faster. And if he doesn't take hits, uh, he takes forever to leave. That's why I can get rock in time. So if nothing happens, or like if there's no ability I want, I'm just gonna like run into him and press uh, press L and hope the momentum. Nope, I can't reach. Slime attacks, Kirby board the attack, sword showing up. Anyway, now I can show off the direct references to the Legend of Zelda. I mean, look, you got the down thrust attack, you got the sword beams at full health. 
Uh, the down thrust attack, the spin attack, and then the fact that you're wearing a green hat just like Link, and the fact that the sword's hilt is blue. Just look at the sword hilt, it's blue. Anyway, the reason I'm not killing this guy uh, is because he's actually the easiest of the three. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave him alive, I probably shouldn't have done. Uh, fighter, no. Fine, I'll just kill him. This boss is actually three bosses in one. I'm sorry that was painfully slow to watch. I don't know if I'm gonna fast forward or like cut anything out. 28 damage points came to Dancing Doll, nope. Uh, there actually is an up thrust, but only Meta Knight can use it, and that's only in the DS remake of the game. Yeah, in the DS remake of the game, there's this thing called Meta Nightmare Ultra? I forgot the name of the actual game. Uh, basically, she's blocking right here, so you do very little damage. It's like a guard thing, kind of like kind of like Kirby pressing L. You see, now we're doing normal damage. Which retreat? Ah. See, this is actually how I calculate uh, the amount of damage that stuff does in this game. This is how I was able to calculate how powerful the hammer attack is, and like all that stuff. In order which is defeated, Kirby defeats all enemies. Sorry, that was painful to watch, like the beginning part of this, because uh, I was just looking for like a decent ability. I ended up sticking to sword. Two ambition points, two appetite points, three love points. I always love like doing stuff while the stuff shows up, like gain experience, I guard, like then I use various attacks depending on like what stat goes up and stuff. Anyway, uh, this one's kind of slow because it's mostly uphill, but believe me, there's one. Believe me when I say there's one that's worse than this. Anyway, I think this is where I'm going to cut the video, because we're basically about halfway done with this. You see, uh, there's 30, 29 out of 60 treasures. If the DS remakes, you can't stand on these, which kind of sucks, because I always used to like like messing around and wasting time here. Which I'm not going to show you guys. Uh, basically, uh, next area to the right, to the left, save point to the right. You can basically skip this whole area, which I'm not going to do. So uh, I guess this is the end of the episode, so uh, see you all and take care, bye bye.